What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial, Stranger Things today, Max running up that hill. So it's a scene where she's floating, sort of looking up that sort of iconic scene. Um, thought it'd be a good one to draw. So I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So let's give this a go. Where to begin? So start with our eyes, right? Those eyes that are kind of rolling up and sort of blue and freaky looking. So yeah so center point to my page about here so we'll start with the right eye just over here yeah let's just go all right so we go center point here might be a little bit higher than the center point tiny bit so we'll go up cross down nice does she have eyelashes? Yes, there's some eyelashes, right? So you can like thicken this up a little bit, maybe add some eyelashes just here on the end. All right, and then this comes in this way. And then we go over to the tear duct and come across. Like so, and what I'm gonna do is kind of leave a gap here, right? So I'm tear duct in there. So some people like to leave that gap. I do, for some reason I like it when I'm drawing. Sort of realistic, more than anime or cartoon style. And then her eye, so we're up, we're looking up, right? So like having sort of a seizure kind of moment. So it goes around, like here, like real high up. And then her pupil, There as well, right? And she's got like all these veins, but they're red, right? So, but I'll, I'll add like just a few. So if you, if you were doing these, I would recommend doing them with red rather than black, but I, there's no other way for me to draw them in. Right, and then we have an eyelid line just above. So it goes up, across, down. Right? This might touch, so I thicken up. In the picture, it kind of touches it here. And she has like some lines around, so like, so like, just some like stress lines, kind of like she's, you know, she's in trouble. So just these sort of stress lines around the eye sometimes make it look a bit worse, you know, especially when they're being like, when characters being beat up or something. So we'll do, we'll do this over here. So you measure this width. That goes in between, we're in standard human proportion because it is a realistic character, right? So, so we're gonna go this width, in between, next eye, here. Similar again, cross, down. And we'll add eyelashes, right? Just here in the corner. And the, you want them to sort of line up. Right, and then we will bring this back this way and then in for the tear duct like that and around here. And I won't join them. I'll leave a gap. For me, it just, it helps things. And then tear duct sort of here that again I looking up people here veins and 
these kind of shapes like they kind of remind me of letter Y's just in there. Or max. And then stress lines just kind of around her eye, right? So these kind of things and then her eyelid really close to the top of her eye might touch it down the side Right, send some eyebrows. So we're just going to draw these in kind of standard. So kind of spike in here, and then comes across, down, and then across down here. She seems to have like some brow area, and then same here. Right, and then for her nose, so we've aligned it just the bridge of her nose just here, maybe something there. And then down here, we'll have her nostrils and stuff, right? So you don't want to draw in the full nose on characters like that. It just doesn't sort of make sense because the nose is kind of a, sh a shaded object, right? So we'll go down. We'll add sort of where the nostrils are right first. So just there. So you can already sort of make out. Where they are and then her nostrils will go around from here all right and then she has so it didn't sort of like the way her nose looked there so i'm going to try again so i'm going to go try this again right so we're just going to go around maybe make it less Bumpy looking sort of will go. She does have a bump, but sometimes like when you're drawing things like this, they don't sort of make sense necessarily in the drawing, like make it sort of maybe a bit more pointy, sort of less bumpy. Yeah, maybe that's better and maybe a little bit of a line just here on the tip of her nose yeah okay so then we'll go down and do her mouth that's a bit better i think so then her mouth Comes down, around, kind of bumps in the middle. It's sort of down here like this. She got this downturned corners here, and then her top lip sort of comes up in the middle, then down. Our bottom lip just around here like so noses are hard sorry about that mistake <laughs> hope it didn't mess you up and uh, then there's like some shadow just underneath the chin there Maybe some white lines just for a shadow on the side of her nose here. Right, and then her chin, just here. Round sort of chin like that. 
and then her jaw, right? So we go up this way. So like this whole area, right, is actually bigger than this. It's just because her head is like tilted, right? So like I'd say it, this whole space is like, like her from her forehead to her nose. Her forehead would be like up here somewhere. So this whole space actually comes, like her eyebrow to her nose, comes beyond her nose. Do you know what I mean? So like this whole space is bigger than this, roughly. So I would say the bottom of her eye probably to the bottom of her nose is about the same as the bottom of her nose to her chin. So this is about halfway between here, this line, and here, right? So, because her head is tilted. But then we're still in standard proportion down here. So the bottom of the nose to the bottom lip is about the same as bottom lip to chin. See that? So that's still halfway between here and here, okay? Just because we have a head tilt going on. That's why this is so much bigger than this space. So see, this is bigger than this. Anyway, that's proportion. So we'll go jaw. Up like so. And about mouth level is where you will start changing direction, right? So you start going around. So you start going. Right, like so. And Max has like some freckles and things sort of on her face, right? So we're, we'll just dot some of those in. There's some on her nose, I think. Comes across. Okay, so her head keeps going. So her, th like this becomes her hairline sort of this way, right? So it can be kind of a spiky sort of thing, some hair growth. And then it's just her fringe is like here. So her hair kind of parts in the middle, right? So it goes this way. And then we go down and then her hair's here. So parts in the middle here, goes down that way and her hairline will kind of come across into there. And I have some frown lines and stuff. Like that. Mm -hmm. You can add texture to her lips, maybe that sort of. She has a couple of freckles on her head as well. Cheeks sort of come in this way. Just yeah, adding some details like this just can help. Help things a little bit. Do -do -do -do. Okay, so the headphones, right? So we can kind of see the top of her ears, right? Just on top of the headphones. So we got like some sideburn here. Right, and this is her hair that kind of goes bumps this way. And then we can see like the top of her ear just here. Right, so same on this side, sort of sideburn, hair bumping that way. And then the top of her ear there. And then the headphones are sitting sort of out from these. So here, just these sort of boxes, right? Like that, and you could see her 
maybe her earlobe a little bit on this side. Can't see the earlobe on the other side. You can just see headphone. So take the side of that headphone here. I'm gonna do just kind of the same thing on this side. So this kind of box. In the picture, it's turned differently, but I'm just gonna keep them both the same just to kind of keep things a little bit easier for everyone. Right, kind of like that. So then the bar for the headphones comes up this way. There's like a thicker section here and then it goes around. So then we'll, we'll try and keep them the same. So we go thicker section and then down to there. So then this has an extra line here. And then we have thicker section there. It's just like, a, I don't know what it is. It's like another part to it. And then the other side of the headphones comes down just into it here. Right, and then you have another part to the headphones coming out from here. Like another line with a circle or something on top. Like so, right, and then the back of her head comes out from the headphones, so just bumping around here, because her hair is all tied up. Right, and then the part in her hair goes all and you can put some texture in the hair here just to show the direction of growth and some will go behind So, right, so then we have, right, so we're looking down, so her body is like floating, right, so we're like right on top of her head kind of thing. Just add more freckles, you can see them there. Right, and then, so the collar sticks out here because it's a down shot, so we're, we're looking down at her here, and then her collar on this side sticks out this side. Kind of slightly different. And then we meet like the zipper sort of part here. And then that goes down that way. So this is like extreme foreshortening now. So all this part is real big, and what's down here is real small. Right, so it's kind of an optical illusion, right? So what we're gonna do, so this is her collar, the other side of it. Collar here, I mean, she's got sort of a zip area going up here. And maybe here as well. Just put some horizontal lines just to show there's like some zipper there right and so her body is all foreshortened right so what that means is like so say like got a bit of a ponytail just here and then her 
the shoulder is like here, right? So this will have some hair. Texture lines, right? But then her shoulder bumps down like all around here. And her chest line is like here. Like that, okay? You do the same thing on this side. Got these bumps and folds. They're supposed to be her body, right? Right. And then so I got to these fold lines, and this is her arm, right? And that's real small now. Because of what we're looking at. I think we can see like the top of the walk man or something here I don't know right and then what we can see of her sleeve like there there's like an edge line to her hoodie the edge line here different section there So that's tricky, right? But that's what we're looking at. Maybe some like hair lines kind of sticking off here. Okay, and like like her line for her, the seam of her hoodie is here. It like goes down her arm. Okay, and we can see like some of her legs there. Right, and then her shoes floating, real small, foreshortened, forced perspective. And this shoe kind of sticks out a little bit more. And they've got these white edges. You can see like some of the laces. Right, so just little details like that. And then in here we have like she's got like a shirt on, like a red colored shirt looks like and we've got like all these crisscross lines right so like and they can be kind of bumpy it's a checkered shirt right, and these then go that way and they get skinnier as we go down right so everything as it goes down gets smaller because it's real force perspective right going down that way okay so what we can see of our hands then so maybe like a bit more of her sleeve on this side right and then we can just see her thumb kind of sticking out on this hand Out round like that, back up, back around here to there. 
run up that hill. Right, and then, so what we can see of her actual thumbnail is kind of here. Look at that, you can't see any of her fingers, can we? No. It's just like disappears back that way. And we can see fingers on this side, so her thumb position is kind of different here. So it comes out, round. Hand goes under to there. And we can see some fingers kind of sticking out here. So fingers are always difficult now, so take your time. Curve around. That way. And then around for another finger here. And the little finger sort of sticks out here, it seems. Right. Like so. You can't see any fingers there at all. Maybe like the bottom of her hand or something. Just going that way. Okay, so the headphone wires come out here, miss them, so just going down underneath her chin and they kind of join together underneath her chin, just these black wires. So they kind of get all tangled up underneath here and then come out, go around down here. And you can see like a little, a little bit more of them just kind of hanging down here. Like so. And then, so you can add more texture, faux lines, stuff to her head. Um, Sometimes it's good to thicken up edge lines on drawings like this. So I'll just go ahead and kind of do that. Right, and then more texture anywhere you want, anywhere you feel, more freckles and things like that. You know, texture on her eyebrows, her skin. But don't want to do too much because you got to find the right balance. But I think they'll do that. It's how to draw Max from Stranger Things running up that hill. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.